Right guys, Peter Finch here, and this is the review of a very different pro-am, which I took part in a few days ago down in Essex. Now this was the Top Golf Top Pairs, I think that's right. And the format of this pro-am was the same in the sense that I was playing with an amateur partner, Jasmine, a jazzy golfer on Instagram, and she invited me down. Rick was also down there with Golf Chica. There's quite a few other people from social media there as well taking part and a whole host of other professionals and amateurs. And from the outset, it felt like a completely different event to anything that I'd done before. So I'd never been to a Top Golf Center before. I had a concept of what it was about. For those people who don't know, it's a driving range, but rather than just like flags out there and yardages out there, it's got targets which are sunken down below the level of the driving range. And when you hit the ball, which all have microchips in, into a certain area, you get points for the proximity to the center of that target. They were at 25 yards, 50 yards, 100 yards, all the way to the back fence, I think it was 240 yards. Um, and you had lots of different games within the Pro-Am that you had to try and score as many points as possible. So the first game was to go to the 50 yard target and try and light up all the quadrants basically. So to go from one to nine points, which was the center target, and then you would go on and double your points and so on and so forth. Next was a snooker game. So you went for a small target, the 25, which is a red, and then you went for a different color on the range and you got double points for certain targets and all the rest of it. And then the last game, you went for any shot that you wanted. The further the target, the more points you got. And there's a couple of key things to say here, first of all. My partner, Jazzy Golfer, was absolutely fantastic. So this was the first pro-am she'd ever taken part in. Her handicap was 28, and she was nervous to begin with, uh, but then as the pro-am progressed, and as she got to that final game, she absolutely smashed it. She got a little bit lucky as well with some of the shots, which you need. And what that actually culminated in was a team score, which got us to second place overall. And in the individual pro competition, I also came in second place. So that is my best pro-am finish, I think. I'm not sure, but I was only 10 points off winning. Sorry, no 10 points, but I was only like 11 points off winning, I think. You said he did well, yeah. Speech! He's like, no. Speech! And you'll bring that, ladies and gentlemen, with a massive score of 4 6 3 representing Bushy Country Club, Matt Cousins. There he is. Do the thing. <laughs> well, no fussing involved, I'm a winner. <laughs> and I only needed a couple of extra things to go my way, uh, and I would have won. And in fact, looking back on it now, I missed my last two shots, I missed my target completely, so I didn't score any points. And if I'd have just managed to score some points with those last two balls, I would have won. But I'm sure uh, Matthew, who actually won, he would be saying the same thing. So it was a good feeling to be, you know, challenging up there at the top of the leaderboard, even if it was an event which was so strange. Because I've been a pro now for a while, and the whole atmosphere was just so different and Craig Salter also on Instagram uh, I'll just pop up some pictures now that he took of the night and it might give you a sense of how relaxed the whole atmosphere was how happy really everyone was to be there and yes it's not the purest form of the game there was no putting for example you know there was no bunker shots there was no vagaries of the weather even though it was chucking it down outside it was obviously dry in the range it had heaters but there was food being brought around, people were having a drink, everyone was laughing and enjoying themselves. And unlike other pro -ams that I've been to, it seemed like even if you were playing poorly and hitting the ball poorly, everyone was still enjoying it. And that was fantastic to see. So I'll just talk you through a little bit of the scoring uh, before I carry on. So in the first round, uh, which was at a 50 yard target, I scored 114 points, which I think was actually it was like fourth or fifth best out of everyone. Um, I had an okay second round, but you can see Matthew who won, who had a poor round on the first one, absolutely smashed it on the second round. Uh, I think he scored the most points on the second round by far. And then we were quite even on the third round. Again, just those last few scoring points that let me down. And there's 42 pros in total playing. So it's finished second out of that group of players. I'm obviously very happy with it. And I think that's a testament to how the long game is coming along. Um, it's 
a mad game, isn't it, golf? A few weeks ago, I could hardly, I could hardly hit my hat. And when I was there on that driving range, going to these different targets at these different distances, I was able to switch off a little bit more. Uh, so not so focused on my technique and actually just go for those targets. And it is something that did pay dividends. What my hope is, is this type of event is gonna be run more often and I will attend more if there are. Uh, helps that I've played well, but it was such a really cool event, a really cool atmosphere. And it was something like I never experienced before. Not only a driving range, because obviously the format of a top golf center was completely different. Even when I went away from where the prom was taking place, which was the top tiers, two tier range, the bottom tier was full, the bar was full. It just was so different. And I, I, I would love to understand my own feelings on it a little bit more, if that makes sense, because it was so different. I can't quite figure it out yet. But the one thing I did figure out is it was awesome. <laughs> but guys, comment below, have you been to a Top Golf Center before? Because I loved it. There were some slight issues within the Pro-Am, so some of the balls, when they went into a target, didn't quite register properly, but there was always someone on hand to manually input that data uh, if it didn't quite come up. That happened a couple of times, and it got in the way just slightly, but when you're using technology like that, it's never going to be perfect. Um, the balls themselves, they weren't full flight, but actually it was pretty decent. It wasn't noticeably bad. And certainly for that last round, I had a four iron out and there was a target out there 190 yards and it was just fitting into a lovely little fade I was hitting. And I think I missed my first two shots because I was going for the big target rather than dialing it back. But then I hit every single target apart from my last two balls and I had, what was it, 18 shots, 16 shots for, for so much in the zone I was. I can't even remember how many shots I had, but I only missed it on a few occasions anyway. So what that tells me about my game overall, I'm not sure. Apart from, I think, what I already knew and something which I have been reminding myself over the last few weeks, no matter how much effort um, that you put into your own game, so no matter how much practice that you put into your technique, it's always vitally important to be able to switch off when it comes to a competition time, no matter if it's a driving range comp or whatever, and actually just focus on target. So not so much focused on technique. It always helps when you're having a great time and you've got a partner like Jasmine who was fantastic. Um, it really was nice to have someone who was so energetic and so happy to be there as well. It does make a big, big difference. And now it's time to refocus because I've got another program next week. So hopefully carry on this good form and then see how the chipping and the putting goes along with that. Now from next week, I'm going to be changing um, a little bit about how I do the videos. Uh, and I've got quite an excited announcement on that. And I think I will tell you about that on Saturday, um, maybe Friday, maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure yet, just a couple of things I wanna get over the line first of all, but it's, yeah, it's exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. So guys, Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. Go check out everyone out on Instagram, on Twitter, everyone that I mentioned here in this video, all worth a follow. Thank you, Top Golf Handles Down. Thank you for, the, for holding such a great event as well. And the PGA, much maligned within professional circles, I feel sometimes, uh, and rightly so in some respects, but all credit to actually hosting an event and get involved in an event which the PJ would not ordinarily be associated with. And I think it's a good step forward. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Second place, let's make the next comp a win. Wow, confidence is uh, growing. <laughs> see you next time.